Greetings, everyone. The I Thrive Podcast. It's your boy, Son in Esperance. Today, I got with me all the way from Italy. Glory to God. You know, it, 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 it's so good because I know the apostle was talking about it, where there's people crying out from Italy to get the truth of God. And we have a, a, a brother, uh, Brother Caleb, who is with us today, who is going to be ready and willing to share his testimony on how he came in to the truth of God. Brother Caleb, how you doing? How you doing, in fact, this evening? Because it's probably six hours ahead over there, no? Uh, I'm doing pretty fine. I'm doing well by the grace of God. I'm fine. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I'm truly grateful to have you here, brother. And before we begin, um, brothers and sisters, my uh, the original stuff that I use, it just it seems like it's not working um, to, today. So I hope you can hear me clearly. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll definitely try to set it up uh, for God willing, the next podcast where it could be uh, working back up again. It's just, you know, as I'm trying clicks, I try to, you know, play around with it, but it's just not uh, functioning, you know? So, but other than that, um, as you all know, this podcast affiliates itself with one church and one church only, and that is First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, with a leader, teacher, and guide as Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. If you want to watch the Apostle and hear the teachings, you can go on YouTube and type his name and you'll find it. If you want to know if there's a church close to you, close around your area, you can go on the truthofgod.com and search for which uh, church is closest to you. Also, if you want to be baptized right in the name of Jesus Christ, you can also go on the truthofgod.com, fill out the baptismal request, and the local minister or main point of contact should reach out to you and set all that up. Uh, we give God thanks, brothers and sisters, for another day, another podcast uh, that's uh, about to happen. I'm truly grateful and thankful um, for everything God continues to do in my life. Uh, even during the tough times, you know, because I know we're supposed to only, or most people, what they do, they just, you know, thank God for the good times and when they're up. But, you know, when I'm low, I, I still give God thanks. And I'm truly grateful to God to be able to have, you know, Brother Caleb all the way from Italy, because I, I, I've told you guys moreover, uh, you know, and this is for those of you watching outside, because, you know, I know a lot of you, it's not just people in truth watching this, those of you outside. And, you know, yeah, you're upset with people who believe in one God and stuff like that. But I just pray that God pricks your heart. Because regardless whether you come to um, like the podcast or not, you're still watching it either way. So clearly there's something that is pricking you somewhere. So I pray that God pricks your heart and then you come and follow the truth of God. But this teaching, it's going everywhere, brothers and sisters. This is just one message. It's not where uh, um, they have to find ways to... Um, pay people off or this and that, the stuff in falsehood, you know, the stuff that your pastor probably does <laughs> or most likely does. This is just one hardcore message that is spreading or this is spreading around the world. This is not just a local thing. This is not even, it's not even a countrywide thing. This is international, you know? So I'm truly grateful to have Brother Caleb all the way from Italy. Is it, where is it, where is it, where in Italy? Uh, Florence. Florence, 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 buongiorno, ma da cada dien, c'è rotte, from Italy, eh? from Italy. So, you know, uh, it's a blessing, you know, I, I'm not going to take too much of the time. Uh, brother, uh, please let us know uh, how you came into the truth of God. Uh, I, about uh, uh, 2017 or 2019, thereabouts, so I... There was a clip of uh, Apostle Gino Genis I saw on Facebook. He was emphasizing about how some Christian uh, women are dressing the pastor wives and daughters and uh, all that. So when I saw that clip, I was so moved by that message. You know, I one thing that got my attention was his boldness and his uh, illustration about the uh, the you know. The, the preaching. So I shared the, the video. So as time goes on, I that was the only video I know I I ever knew about him. So I never you know, tried to search about him anymore. Because then I was still I was still uh you know into Pentecostal stuff. So as time goes on I about 2000, yeah, 2001, 
this is uh, a bit 2000, 2020, which is last year. So I, it was the, the period of lockdown whereby the, the whole Italy was on lockdown for three months. So by that time, I, there was some one clip I also watched. So I saw some, some setting uh, uh, tissues, like some kind of tissues I've never heard of. So, and uh, about the Christmas issue. So there was a time in my former church, Pentecostal. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, th there is this program they always does in, a, uh, in the church. They call it the pulpit and the uh, congregation, whereby the congregation will be asking the pastors some quest uh, biblical questions. Mm -hmm. So I now ask the pastor uh, about Christmas. So why is it that? Because before, uh, before I ask him those questions, I have already been listening to Apostle Gino Genis uh, uh, teaching about uh, Christmas and mm -hmm. stuff. So I now confronted my pastor, my former pastor. So, you know, he just said something and covers it up that he doesn't mean. So uh, from that moment, even the whole church was against me. So I stopped celebrating Christmas where even while I was still, you know, uh, fellowshipping with them. Mm -hmm. So I stopped celebrating Christmas with them. So whenever they want, they you know they want to start organizing the Christmas issue, I don't attend church at that uh, moment. So when it got to that lockdown uh, period, so I was at home and uh, I hold my Bible so close to myself and I went into the truth of God message and started washing and washing every day, every day, every day. And at the time, I was so confused because I began to, to uh, list, you know, see another a message because uh, it was like I was having a double uh, messages within me, like the um, uh, teaching of Pentecostal and this other teaching. So I was so confused. I know there was a war within myself. What so were, what were some of the teachings you were getting or all that you can remember? The teachings that contradict the scriptures in the Pentecostal church, what were those teachings you were getting? Like uh, uh, women preachers, like uh, uh, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, giving uh, all these uh, uh, deaconess, uh, giving a uh, post to someone that does not even work uh, without qualification, like myself, I was giving a, 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 a choir master. I mean, uh, I was a, in a choir. I was a Sunday school teacher. I was an evangelist, you know, head of evangelist without the Holy Ghost. So all these things, a, a lot of things. So they, you know, dancing kind of, uh some setting dance that you can relate to to the clubhouse so dancing all those things in the church uh celebrating christmas and easter mm -hmm. so many things even invented within themselves and so how, how long were you getting those false teachings for until you see in uh, the clip of pastor gino jennings you uh come again please so how long were you getting the te those teachings from the Pentecostal church? Like how long were you in it before you came across Pastor Gino Jennings? Oh, uh, three years in Pentecostal because all my, uh, I grown up in a Roman Catholic. Exactly. So yeah, so from there I you know, came to, uh, I only spent three years in a Pentecostal. Okay. But while, so, you, uh, while you were getting those teachings at the beginning, you did not know Yet, never, 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 never even knew. Okay, so never. Then you you come across, you see a clip of Gino Jennings, and you're yes. like, what, what, what's this? This is not what you know. You're being taught, and now as you're saying, you're, it's like there's two teachings because you stop celebrating the Christmas, but you know you still fellowship with them. But now it's yeah. like, 
I'm getting false teaching from the Pentecostal church that I've been in for <laughs> years, but now I'm getting correct teaching from the apostle. Like, like what do I do? That's, so that's, the, that's pretty much where you ended up in. So now yeah. that you ended up there, what was next after that? You're in those two dilemmas right there. So I was so confused mm. and I didn't know what to do. And that period I prayed, I know I, I keep on praying, God, please show me the right way. Show me the right way. For one month, I keep, you know, having that prayers. So one faithful just night. Before, just before you continue, what, what were you confused about? The confusion was uh, the, the teaching I was receiving in a Pentecostal about all these uh, their doctrine, Trinity, women preachers, uh, Christmas, and you know, uh, even I was even taught that as uh, uh, Israelites, uh, when someone who is uh, uh, who came from Israel, mm -hmm. when in marriage, you know, they have a free certificate to go to heaven. So when and someone that comes from Israel, when he marries any person. Meaning that person has automatic tickets to go to heaven. Oh, they talk, so pretty much if, let's say I'm born in Israel. Yes. I marry a woman from Ethiopia. Yes. She has That's an automatic true. ticket to go to heaven. That was a teaching in the Pentecostal church. You're in. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's rubbish. Rubbish. God is a witness. I'm telling you. Oh, I've never, you know, I've never heard that before in my life. Never. You see, so I was really confused and I, I prayed for one month. God, show me the way. I want to know the real way to, to, to salvation. Mm. So one faithful and beautiful night, I slept and I dreamt I saw Apostle Gino Genis. Two scene, one night. So first scene, he was teaching me the doctrine of holiness. And I, I found myself, you know, writing those things down. So the second scene, I saw him in my village. Mm. In my village. So I saw him there, the same teaching. So when I woke up, you know, I have a peace I never had in my life. I was so peaceful. Like the, when I woke up, the first thing I did was, God, thank you. I lay down and said, God, Thank you for answering my prayer. So that was how God answered my prayer, revealed Apostle Genos to me. And so when you say he was preaching in your village, like, like in Italy? No, no. It, uh, uh, Italy is not my uh, country. So I came from uh, the country that breed false prophets. So, uh, of course. Oh, yes, Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria, when are you going to give up, oh? When are you going to give up? <laughs> My days, no, no, I, I understand. Over there, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's so much false nonsense over there, you know? And <laughs> so you've pretty much seen PG uh, um, in that dream. And you know, you know one thing that I see that's so common with a lot of brothers and sisters that testify, it's, it's when there's that sincerity in their heart where they really yeah. get right with God. They're constantly saying, I was revealed to Gino yeah. Jeff. I'm revealed to Gino Jeff. And that's when you really want to get right. It goes to show where that sincerity is at because many probably go down on their knees to say it, but there's no sincerity there. So they end up with a TD Jakes or Joel Osteen and whatever the case is. And now they feel like they're saved. Meaning mm. they were just looking for a preacher that condones their lifestyle. A preacher yeah, that, you know what? If you want to be able to smoke and be a Christian, there's a preacher out there that condones it. If you want to be able to have all the wives and all the husbands, there's a preacher out there that condones it. But you that's yourself and as well as many others, it says like something, a, a, a sincere prayer, really, to yeah. look for, to know and, and be in his teaching. So now that, you know, you dealt with the confusion, because the Pentecostal church, it seems like they're all over the place. I, there's somewhere you believe in one God, and now some believe in the Trinity. Some believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Some believe in baptizing Father. Like, it seems like it's just all over the place, you know? So yes. question to yourself, really, and, and in terms of coming in and seeing it, because once again, this is a hard message. This is a very yeah. difficult teaching, 
And being in Italy, it's like, I believe the percentage of Catholics, it has to be over 90%. It, oh, yes. Yeah, not- it has to be over 90%. You know, it's literally, you know, I, I watch soccer. You watch the games and it's 11 v 11. It's like we see 22 players. They're doing their thing, you know, they're doing, and it's like, that's where that country and what that country has been about. So in terms of, you know, now being placed where you are, where, when did it come in mind where it's like, you know what, how can I reach out to, to, I I don't know who you reached out to or who was reached out where uh, Pastor Jennings needs to come to Italy. Like when was that, when did that time come for yourself? You see? So when did that when did that time come? It looked like you froze a bit, but when did that time come? Where? Because now you're hearing the teachings, you're hearing it and all this and that, where um it was time where you guys wanted Pastor Jennings to come to yes. Italy. When did that moment come? Okay, uh I think uh, last I think uh, this sun, uh Sunday he, he announced that uh uh he will you know they will make a a provision to come to Italy, which is uh, around June uh, next year. Mm-hmm. So, and uh, the place will be, uh, the city will be in uh, Bologna, which yeah. is very close to my city. Exactly. So it's, uh, yeah, just about uh, 30, uh, 30, 45 minutes uh, 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 distance. Okay. So, and how, I guess, how many of you, how many like, uh, like, I don't know if you know other ones over there. How many other saints are over there who are, are waiting? Yeah. Uh, like in uh, in Bologna, so they have uh, many people there. They have uh, a lot of uh, uh, people that are expecting him there. So because That's they, hard. like in Bologna, uh, Bologna mm-hmm. so uh, they are the main people that uh is making provision of where they will hold the uh mean the the gathering so uh because they have a lot of uh uh believers there who believe in uh the teaching of uh uh apostle genogeny so like here in my city uh almost all of them except i will pick some because i i'm already you know talking with some so wish i to them, so when that time comes, uh, I will take them to uh, the place. So, so that's how I've known for now. Okay, so it's like it's re- it's really spreading over there, left and right, pretty much. Yes. Okay, okay. And then in terms of uh, Bologna and Florence, how far? Because the I know the main area is like Rome. Rome is like yeah. how far yeah. is it from Rome? Uh, from uh from uh, Florence to Rome, it will take uh not less than t- uh, three hours. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. So not too too far. So God will you know, of course you know it could spread everywhere. But I know Rome is like one of the main main spots. Yeah. Yes. No, but this, this is wonderful in terms. What what I want to touch base on as well. Go back a bit in terms of like you when you were in um Catholicism. Because Catholicism, yeah. I know it's a very, you know, stronghold on, on people. I have immediate family, like most of them, they're all Catholic. And, um, you know, some have died Catholic. And of yeah, course, it, it hurts to know that, man, okay, my aunt or grandma, blah, blah, blah. My mom was Catholic, but she died this way. I know she went to heaven. But now you hear you come people who were in it saying <laughs> this is some nonsense and blah and this and that. And of course, you transitioned to Pentecostal after, so that means there was something that wasn't irksome. But how deep were you into Catholicism, and what made you want to come out? In uh, Catholicism. Yeah, like how yeah. how deep, how like heavy were you in the Catholic religion? And what yeah, you in, want to come out as well. Okay, in uh, when back then in Nigeria, I yeah, about uh. But, uh my first baptism was in a Roman Catholic, which was uh, around 2001. So then I, after some years, I joined the Legion of Mary. I joined, uh, yeah, there's a society they call the Legion of Mary. Legion and uh, Legion of Mary. What is, what is that? 
Yeah, it's just uh, some group of people, you know, they, you know, they pray to Mary. Uh, we kneel down before the statues of Mary, you know, all that uh, worshiping idols. So. And you used so, to do it yourself? Oh, yes. So I used to. When you were doing that, like, what, what, like, you know, because I always wanted to know, when you were praying to who you thought was Mary, like, what was going through your mind? I just thought, you know, it's just Christian things. So that was what I thought. Like you, no. really, you really believe she was hearing you? Of course. I do believe. Yeah. Even, when, even when I'm passing just the church mm -hmm. uh, premises, I got to do like this. Even when I'm not entering inside the church, mm -hmm. just passing the premises, I got to do like this. So just believe that she 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 takes her prayer to god just like the the artistic so things like that okay okay and so what made you want to come out of catholicism so when i came to italy 2015 mm -hmm. so i i was still attending roman catholic so after some so a uh, few years i you know i i, I was you know there, there was something I never did back then in Nigeria. So I saw them doing it here, like kissing uh, uh, this tattoo of uh, Jesus, like a baby, uh, no stuff. So every they Christmas, would kiss it. they would kiss it. Yeah, they would kiss it. So I saw them kissing it. I didn't kiss it because I was the one uh, that time, I was the one reading uh, the bulletin. Uh, saying uh, some prayers. So I didn't kiss him. So I was praying to God that God should, uh, you know, uh, show me the way to serve him. So after some years, I left there and I went to, that was how I got to Pentecostal. And then after that, after Pentecostal, right? Yeah. What, would, what, what message would you have being a former Mary prayer, former Catholic? What message would you have right now to those who, because there's, there's so many, so many out there. And to think of the way it's been exposed, to think that, you know, like, you know, you know, it's not true, you know, it's not real. And they still like are just clinging onto it. What message would you have for those who are in the Catholic nonsense today? My message to them is to let them know that, you know, uh, Catholic is not different is they are not different from like our traditional native doctors. So like uh, our spiritual, uh, when we go to Africa, they have this spiritual uh, image they put everywhere. So Diaz is just a modernized uh, idol worshippers. So uh, there is no light there and they can never be light there. So Catholic, they are not Christians. So my advice to them is they should, you know, stop following such doctrine. Mm -hmm. Such doctrine will only lead them to hell. Mm -hmm. So God never permitted such thing. And uh, no, idols is not, is not of God. Anything that has to do with idols, God does not, he says he does not dwell in the things that, that, that is made with hands. Mm -hmm. So they should quit that thing wrong for their life. Catholic is, is, is not the way. And they can never lead them to to you know to the cross. So they should live there. So that is not the way. Never, never, never. I've been there before for many more than twenty years. So no light there, and it, there will never be. There will never be light there. So there is no light there. So where there is no light, uh, probably you, you know it cannot shine them to be where they want to be. So it's not the way of God. And what would you say to those? Who are in Pente in the in Pentecostal? Because there's Pentecostal as well. Uh, it is not of God. Pentecostal is a man-made doctrine. So they you know something that Mary cycle just to look like the things of God, but it is not. So it looks like uh, almost the same. But when you go deeply with the uh, help of God, you understand that. Uh, Pentecostal, they are not of God. Never, never, they are not of God. So these two way, uh, different religions, they are not of God. Never, never. 
the just like as Catholic, it leads nowhere. It leads nowhere. They they have to quit that religion and follow the right religion that the apostles, the uh, Jesus lay before the apostles. So that is the right and the real deal that we should try and follow, no matter how hard it is. We should try and follow it just to, to know, to how, save us. And how are you so sure that holiness, that the truth of God is the church that God, that listen, that God is coming back for it. How are you, how, cause some people are gonna wonder, okay, Caleb, you, you, you saying like this, you saying like that, how, how are you so sure that the truth of God is, is a good truth? Like, how are you so sure, mother? Tell me. I, I am, you know, a million percent so sure because why ever since, you know, there's one thing God does, he did for me. God, he opened my understanding of the scripture mm. whereby uh, kind of have the mindset of never you believe anything that is out of the Bible, the scripture, anything that is out of it, don't believe it. So I believe one million be saying that this is the right church of this last day. And if I tell you, I don't listen to any preacher, preachers, not that they are not good preachers, are they? But I don't listen. Mm. When I'm screwing through my Facebook, I saw other preachers, I don't. Even most of the time, it's only Apostle Junogini's uh, messages that always come through my Facebook because I have a lot of uh, uh, friends there. So just all his messages, many, anything about post church are the things that are always coming. So this is the the best, the best way, and God, and this is the right church God is coming from, coming for. So I've tried to uh, discern or see some preaching that apostle, will, you know, like kind of, you know, preach and see if it goes with the Bible. I've never for once see his preaching go against the Bible or he, you know, I've never seen any. Never, 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 never. So this is just the right church, the right church. No, uh, there might be other church, but this is just the right church, the right church, the right one that Christ is coming for, the right church. Wow, wow that's, that's wonderful. See, you said, you said one million percent, sure, right? One, one oh, million yes. percent. I, oh, yes. That, that's, you know, that's, that's wonderful. That's a blessing, um, you know, because a lot of the times, uh, you know, People always wonder why are people so sure, but you you said it within that thin 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 sentence where you thank God for open up opening up your understanding to the scriptures. That's all it yes. is, you know. That's really all it is. And a lot of times, people out there they're so you know coming in this thing. I don't know why people are so angry that you know people come into it that they they, they have to just make something up. Man, you're in a cult. Man, uh, uh, oh, that guy doesn't like women. Man, oh, no, nah, it's not supposed to be preached like that. Like, all of a sudden, everybody knows scripture when it comes to coming into this teaching. Oh, nah, that's not what the scripture is this, and that's not what it, you know? And so it's a blessing to hear where it's it's because a lot of times, you know, you have, you know, people, uh, preachers in falsehood, people mm -hmm. is, they don't even know what to thank or be thankful for. It could be most times, oh, uh, I, you know, I'm thankful of, uh, man of being able just to be here you know and in all i'm thankful this and that left and right he he is a man of god that he he understands life situations i had my my I, I had my second wife and you know i was told from that gino jennings guy that i have to let her go and go to my first wife but being here with bishop lucifer he allows <laughs> me to have my second wife you know and i i i can't be more grateful for you know People have those reasons, but the main thing, as you said, it's because God opened up your understanding to the scripture. Yes. A blessing. So it, it, it concludes with a question that I have, brother. That yeah. I have, moreover, how grateful are you to God to be able to choose some, just somebody, a, a, a brother from Nigeria who comes to Italy, eh? from Florence, <laughs> <laughs> eh? eh? to, to, to leave his fufu and everything. To come to pasta and pizza. 
Why? Like, how great? How grateful are you to God to just, just be able to just you know open even open up your understanding to this teaching? How grateful are you to God? And also, how grateful are you to God for sending a man of God in these last evil days? You know, I, I, you know, how grateful I am to God is, you know, it has no comparison because it make me think that God loves me so much that he could, you know, reveal such great man of God to me because he wants to really save me. So despite uh, all the things I have done in the past, so so that's how I, I feel the love of God in my heart. And I'm so grateful to God for every day. So because uh, I, I really don't, sometimes I, I said, God, what have I really done? Despite all the sin I have committed and you, you know, you want to save me by revealing this man to me because, uh, you know, I, so, I just so love everything just to love everything. So it makes me forget about some certain things I've done in the past. And honestly, I'm so grateful to God. So grateful, so grateful. Because I remember the, the day he revealed him to me, I when I got up from my bed, I need and I thank God. I really thank him. And till now, I'm still grateful to God. I'm still grateful to God. Oh, that's wonderful. Very, very wonderful to hear, brother. Uh, I'm truly grateful and thankful for you, brother, and, and thank you for taking the time out in the evening that you're at. It's it's uh two oh one over here. So it's probably what uh, what time is it for you guys? Yes. What time is it for you guys over there? Uh, yeah, right now is uh uh it's one now, just a minute past eight. eight. Past eight, you see. So I'm I'm just truly grateful that you're able to take the time and and come and do it. And you know, God willing, who knows how we could probably see each other in the future, whether it be in Italy or be at, you know, headquarters in Philly, whatever the case is. But it's it's such a joy to see how much this message continues to spread. And all of this during the pandemic, during the pandemic, yeah. we reached out to people <laughs> left and right. And, and we know within COVID, it hit Italy very hard. You know, very hard. Like very hard. Numbers was just getting bigger and bigger as the days went by, you know? Yes. And, you know, thank God for keeping you and the rest of the saints um, to be able to, God willingly, I think, um, uh, if, if I'm correct, Evangelist Taj is supposed to come in December, something like that. Uh, if I'm yes. then next year, God willing, maybe yeah. we will get there in that time. But no, it's, it's a true blessing. Thank you very much yeah. for coming. I'm great. You know, thank you all for listening. Of course, like, share, subscribe, and share this out. Sp- spread this out. Let the let the people know <laughs> how much this message is spreading all over the place. The same oh, yeah. thing commenting this and that and that and this yet their pastor he has he has no work he, he has <laughs> nothing over there so the least they could do is come over here and put their comments in and and really they, they, they put in the comments in really thinking they're doing something with these comments or sending emails really thinking they're doing something sending these emails they their preachers have no work have absolutely no. nothing to show for but yet they have all the time to come here well I know why <laughs> Jennings is a false apostle. He preaches that there's one God, but we know that there is three. Like, why? For what? If you know and you truly believe the, the devil that's preaching to you that he's going to get you to the king, just stay there. I'm not bothering, yeah. I'm not bothering nobody. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm letting you do your thing. Just let me do mine. But people, that's true. They, they just can't, you know, they just can't stop. That devil in them, they have to say something. Huh? <laughs> they, they have to say something, you know. So, brothers and sisters, this and and those of you watching from outside, as you can see, this is going all over the all over. Don't it's take good. it for granted. Don't keep watching this podcast and you're watching, you know, uh, the teachings. You're on the telecast every Sunday just to just die without God. Do not let this take. Don't take this for granted those of you watching from outside and those of you within I understand this thing is going everywhere and it's not going everywhere just because it is because pastor Gino Jennings, but it's because God is with him. As he said, God's hand is in the truth of God and oh, yes. if God is doing the work who, who can stop God. That's my challenge to you. Find me who can stop God. And then we'll but, have a conversation. Huh? 
Just find me, you can stop it. My dear, go, go look, go try to search and find as much as you can. Leave it in the comment. Send me an email and say, hey, brother Sandin, I know who can stop God. I want to see the fool who really thinks somebody could stop God. I, I want to see. You know, but the, <laughs> you see the, what, what, another thing I wanted to say too, within the devil, he has so many people just attacking first yeah. church. Oh, so yes. Wanted, just, why, why are they, why, they just not wanting to attack nowhere else. They want to attack first church. You understand? <laughs> But you see how great, good God is? We just have one message that is still hitting left and right. No matter oh, yeah. the devil's coming from all over the place, we have one message, one message that God has mm -hmm. given and is giving to the apostle to feed us. And where the yes. ministering brethren are helping him spread this message around the world, just one message is spreading yes. left and right. You know, I'll be on the Jamaica Zooms. It's not just Jamaicans there. Now you have some of the Americans there. You have some from Australia there. You have some from, you know, it's, it's because it's the same message. It's the same yeah. message, you know? So keep, you know, one another in prayer, brothers and sisters, keep the apostle and his family in prayer. Keep the faithful ministering brethren in prayer as well in those families as they help the apostles spread this message of truth all over the world. And keep the brothers, uh, 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 the, the brethren, brothers and sisters, if they're sisters as well, uh, who are following it in Italy, Keep them in prayer as well, brothers and sisters, you know, and, and those from, because now that it, it's, it's reaching out there, now, you know, it could spread left and right and so forth, but keep them in prayer. Do not forget them, the, the, the brethren in Italy. Thank you for watching. This was uh, Sunday Nesperance of Vive Thrive Podcast. Brother Caleb, thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much for coming on and taking the time and really trying to test the I, I know, I know that devils are not going to like this now. They're going to go, oh, my day it's gonna be like oh no I, I gotta make something else up now no that guy's not from italy he's actually in nigeria hey he's not in italy right now they're gonna, they're gonna say whatever they can say my day but you know we're gonna be able to do this work you know I, i'm just so happy and excited this, this brings me so much joy brothers and sisters you don't understand this I, 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 this just brings me too much joy to see that this is constantly going and going and going and the reason why i have such a big smile is because these, these heathens really think they could stop it. They really they can. can sit there and smile. They really they think can. they could stop it. They really can. As it is said, moreover, the only person that can stop this is God and nothing and no one else. Thank you for listening, That's brothers and sisters. God bless and peace be unto you. Keep me in prayer. Keep Brother Caleb in prayer just the same. God bless everybody. God bless. Hallelujah. Oh.